Hey, welcome back to the Freezing Kitchen. I'm Annika, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make Reese's Chocolate Peanut Butter Macarons. These macarons were a huge hit on my Instagram account. They taste just like the original chocolate peanut butter cups, and you don't need many ingredients for today. It will include some peanut butter and some cocoa powder. Um, so let me walk you through the ingredients. 72 grams of aged egg whites, room temperature, 20 grams of super fine sugar, red and green gel colors, a pinch of salt, 90 grams of almond flour, and 140 grams of powdered sugar. In a blender or food processor, combine the almond flour with the powdered sugar and process until you achieve a very smooth consistency in order to have a very smooth macaron shell later. Now let's move on to make the meringue. Just add the egg whites to a mixing bowl along with the salt and start whisking on medium speed until it reaches a foamy bubbly consistency and then slowly add your sugar while mixing on high speed. Once the sugar is all in there, stop the mixer, scrape down the sides, then put the mixer back on to high speed and whisk for two minutes. The meringue is ready. Now I'm gonna add some red and some green gel colors to achieve the brown. Then I put the mixer back to medium speed to get the color all mixed in. So next up, you want to sip your almond powdered sugar mixture into your meringue. Just use a fine mesh strainer, then take a spatula and fold it gently in. So this step might be tricky, so if you're doing it for the first time, here's a tip. Just count the strokes you're doing and do about 45 to 50 times and you will achieve a lava-like consistency. To a piping bag with a round tip on the bottom, add your meringue mixture and start piping. I find it the easiest way to pipe rounds to add a template underneath my parchment paper so you have a guide to pipe. Once the macaron shells are all piped, let's drop the sheet a couple times to release the air bubbles. With a toothpick, correct the holes. Let your macaron shells rest for 20 to 60 minutes or until they form a skin on top. So while the macaron shells are drying, let's make the chocolate peanut butter filling. And for that you're going to need five tablespoons of butter, which is room temperature, one teaspoon of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of milk, three fourths cup of powdered sugar, and one third of a cup of peanut butter. First off, mix your butter with the powdered sugar on medium high speed until light and fluffy. Add your peanut butter and mix until well incorporated. Now stop the mixer, split this mixture into half and add it to a piping bag attached with a star tip on the bottom and set it aside. Now to the remaining peanut butter cream, add your cocoa powder and one tablespoon of milk. Then keep mixing until well combined. Now our chocolate peanut butter cream is ready as well. And now I'm gonna add this mixture into another piping bag with a star tip on the bottom. Both of our fillings are ready to go. Now let's check on the macarons. If they have a skin on top, they are ready to go in the oven. I preheated the oven to 300 degrees, but when I popped them into the oven, I turned the temperature down to 280 and baked them for 25 minutes. After baking, let them cool completely, then find a match and pipe the filling. To give this macaron a very cool look, I like to alternate with the chocolate peanut butter and the peanut butter filling. Mm -hmm. 
our Reese's chocolate peanut butter macarons are all done. Now we have to wait 24 hours so the flavors melt together. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!